Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Al Khor. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's the Korea Republic up against Portugal. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And the South Korea starting 11. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Ruben Neves plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. looks promising chances on oh he saved it well excellent from the keep Wang Hee Chan can he put it away and able to close down the shots Liao Guerrero. Surely. Oh, that makes the move to the inside. Will he finish? Nicely saved. They favoured a short one here. Song. And a chance for them to nudge in front. Oh, look at that. They've taken the lead. Well, they haven't been the dominant team so far. But they're certainly not complaining about the scoreline. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good. Which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. The flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. Alio. He's in control of the situation. Leal. 
strong hand on that one. Defenders need to cover. Chances on. And it's in! All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. But when he shoots, I expect him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Bruno Fernandes takes aim. He scored once already and close to make. Now with Silva. This could square the game. Bernardo Silva. Now with Neves. Shot attempted. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Chance here. The save was a good one. Well, it looked so promising. But a goal kicked the outcome. Well, there was the chance for the equaliser. But you have to say, what a great save that was. Wang. Son. Real chance. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Now possibilities in the centre, and how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Now sending it in. And opting for power over placement, but not the desired result. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Fernandes, they've regained possession. Huang Hee Chan. Who can he pick out? He quartered the attack illegally. Now perhaps a card is forthcoming. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
The delivery towards the back post. So with that, we can now say it's all over and the outcome they were hoping for, certainly. A victory, and you can't argue with that, Stuart. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well.